All right, so uh, this Shabbat, we won't be doing a uh, phrase. We're going to be doing some uh, statements, or uh, which we'll call imperatives. Um, depending on how you say it, it can also be requests as well. But uh, the first one is, please be seated. Please be seated. Uh, in the Hebrew, that is Babak Basha, La Shabbat. And that word uh, that you see, I put it in the chat as well, so y'all can follow along if y'all want to. But the word uh, Shabbat um, is also used to be seated or to sit. It's the same word as Sabbath, which means to rest. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. So this is a, a real short, quick one that uh, we can all remember. Uh, once again, it's a uh, please be seated. I'm going to let y'all follow along with me. Khan. Babak Basha. Babak Basha. La Shabbat. La Shabbat. And once again, that word Shabbat is the same word for Sabbath, which means to rest. Uh, it also means to sit down um, when you put La in front of it as a prefix. But once again, Babak Basha La Shabbat. Khan. And it means to please be seated. And uh, once again, once again, depending on how you say it, it can be an imperative, which means a uh, command, or it can just be a request. You ask of somebody to, you know, take a seat. Um, God. So I'm gonna let y'all say it with me one more time. Babak washa. Babak washa. La shabbat. La shabbat. God. And the second one is the opposite, which means to please stand. Please stand. Once again, babak washa. Babakusha, the Aimawad. It means please stand. And that's it. Shalom. 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 Shalom.